Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Decades Challenge. One thing that I wanted to do before I recorded another episode was work on getting the um, audio situation figured out. Hopefully, this audio is a little bit better. Um, we will see. But we have twins, and William is out here talking to his plants. Wonderful. Um, we need to just, you know, give these guys encouragement. Um, oh, we have a fertilizer. Um, let's go ahead and fertilize this crop as well. Um, Florence has been taking care of the babies. She just gave birth. Uh-oh. It looks like we need to change a diaper here. And then she's going to take a little nap. Um, and we need to check on our animals. Daisy the cow is happy. And let's check on our chickens. They seem to be okay. We do have some eggs that we can collect. And we do have some eggs that are supposed to be hatching. So that's exciting as well. Let's go check on that. He's got one egg, and he's going to feed them. Perfect. Now, we were having him work on his handiness um, and his wood, um, wood carving or whatever. So, let's have him make, let's have him make a bar stool. Um... We could potentially put like a little bar stool here for them to sit and eat at. Um, so that that would be good. Let's see. Oh no, another baby's crying. We have another dirty diaper, Florence. You're just gonna have to get up. It is spring, so that's the perfect time for gardening and for having babies. These babies are gonna grow up on Saturday. So, not too far from now, let's go ahead and cuddle. You know, I wish she could knit onesies, but she cannot do that yet. Um, I know that it's not, you know, pretty typical for them to, to oh, she doesn't have any money anyway. I was going to say she could maybe go buy them a onesie, but... They absolutely do not have any money to do that. So let's have her come sleep. And let's see, he's supposed to be working on a bar stool that they could potentially sit and eat at. There aren't really a ton of rules in this game. Um, mostly just like survive. <laughs> and we definitely need more money. So... Hopefully we can get our garden growing soon and we can sell some stuff. We should maybe look into going and selling some of our milk and eggs. Let's see. Oh no, we need to add some ice. We have 13 eggs and 12 jars of milk. Maybe we can take like six of these and sell them. And maybe we can take like six of these eggs and sell them. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go see if we can do that while she is resting. He's getting a little hungry first. So let's add some ice to the ice box and we can grab some leftovers. No, I don't want us to eat all of our cheese. I keep making cheese and then he keeps eating it. We eat the fruit salad. Um, yeah, once we have a bar stool in there, that'll be nice because then we won't have to come in here to eat by the fire. Okay, once he eats this, I'm going to have him go to town and see if he can sell that stuff. Okay, so I tried to go downtown and or to the town and sell the stuff, but the thing closes at 7 o'clock, this, this little stand. 
So we're going to have to do this tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and put them back in the ice box so they don't ruin. Um, and we'll have to try it in the morning. And yeah, so we're going to have him help clean up. Or no, you, sir, are not going to clean up any dishes. That is not something that you would probably do. Why did I just randomly get an accent? I'm sorry. Um... It's getting to be the evening. He may read something really quickly. And did he finish his bar stool? Did he finish it? Let's check the inventory. Oh, he did. Okay, let's snap our little bar stool right there. But I am going to, I can't change the color of it. All right, well, he also made these garden pots. But I think I'm going to sell them um, because we need money. So I'm not really crazy about the color of this, but we will just go with it, I guess. Um, he's going to read a little bit. She's going to clean up the dishes and have a little snack. And then I think we said she was going to... <clears throat> Maybe we can just keep this until one of the kids um, become older. Let's have her resume her cross stitching that she was working on. And then they're going to have just a little nice little evening by the fire. Oh, geez. This is cute. It's dark. But that's adorable. They're both going to hang out here. And he wants to listen to music. But I don't think that's something that we have yet. Maybe in the next decade. How's she feeling? She's feeling pretty good. Um, Let's talk about our dreams, honey. All of the things that we dream of doing together. And then we will have them head up to bed soon. But she's probably going to have to go take care of some babies first. So let's have her feed them before bed. Did she finish her cross stitch? She did. Oh my gosh, $126. We're selling it. We need the money. Oh, I love that. That's wonderful. So after she feeds the babies, she's going to also go to sleep. And we will see them in the morning. We should have be getting a fireplace for the bedroom. I think. Um, the chimney goes here, so it only makes sense that there would be another fireplace here. So maybe we can get that when we have a little bit more money. I'm trying not to cheat with them. If I can help it. So. Let's get them to bed. And then, oh, she might have to go to the restroom in the outhouse before she goes to sleep. Because if not, she's going to have to go... Okay, we will see you in the morning. Okay, Florence has been woken up early this morning by the babies. So she's going to go feed the babies. And I do think that maybe William will be getting up here shortly as well. We had a chicken that hatched overnight, you guys. Um, we can't see them right now, but... There was a little chick that hatched overnight. So we have a little little chicken, which is exciting. Um, I don't know if it was a rooster or a hen. Oh no. Now this baby's crying. So we'll have William wake up here shortly. Okay, William is awake. Um, he's going to go out and check on his plants, it looks like. 
Florence is reading a little book, but I was going to see if she could cook anything besides cheese and fruit salad. It says we don't have any power. Well, let's make some more cheese. Cook off the grid. All we can make is cheese. I really thought we would have power. But I think the sun has to come out. I think once the sun comes out, we will have power again. The candles shouldn't use power. So I'm not sure what we have that would be using a lot of it. But we will see. Um, let's see. How are the plants, William? Oh, there's our chick. There's our little baby chick. How are you doing, little baby chick? Oh, it's a hen. Okay. Oh, no. We need to spray our butt. Spray. Um, a water. Oh, we can start harvesting and selling. Let's spray them first and get them all cleaned up. Oh, why did she come outside to talk to him? She's just chit-chatting. Um, go collect the eggs, ma'am. So if that's a hen, I was thinking maybe we could trade one for meat, but I'm not so sure. Let's check on Daisy the cow. Um, call her over. Oh, we got a hatchable egg. Let's put it in there. Too regular. I think she's going to go. Oh, she did make the cheese. Perfect. Let's put that back in the ice box and let's get our milk and our, um, our milk and our eggs that we were going to go take to market. And we will take these and sell them. Perfect. Did you check on Daisy? Let's milk her. How is she? Unhappy, starving. Oh, no. Feed her. He is still working on these plants. It is just a yucky, very yucky, cloudy day. Like, this weather is terrible. Ugh. Oh, now baby's crying. Alright. Hopefully we can get these babies aged up into toddlers, which will be quite a mess. <clears throat> so now we have to decide if we want to harvest or if we want to sell. Well, let's let's go ahead and just harvest harvest everything and then we can maybe sell some and then keep some um i think that's probably a good idea feed miss daisy okay shoo i don't want her to run away and then we still don't have any power Let's check our bills. Okay, well. We will hopefully be making some power and some water soon. Maybe he can gather some water from this little pump. And are the babies okay? Perfect. Let's go and maybe make something at all are there is there any more fruit salad there is all right grab some fruit salad we'll do that 
finally getting there with the crops and we're gonna harvest these and see if we can keep some and we can sell some okay he harvested his crops and let's see we've got four of everything so here's what i think we should do i think can we not plant these Is this real life? We can't plant them? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, well, let's put some in here. Maybe two of each. And then we will go sell the other ones. I wonder if she can do some canning with the mushrooms and maybe make like a meat substitute, perhaps. Okay. Let's give all of the milk to William. He's going to go to town. Florence is going to have me to get up, ma'am. And feed these babies. So she's going to stay home and he's going to go to town before, before they close. Okay, so he is in town and he's going to come sell his items. Let's see if we can do that. And I don't think at this point that we need any, any like ingredients. We just need power. <laughs> so, um, oh yes, this is perfect. We need power and money. Perfect. Wow. That was a good little haul. I liked that. Maybe we can go meet some town folks here. Oh, there's my actual real life baby. Please pause. Okay, we're going to meet some of these town folks. Viv Shoemaker. Um, Henry and Luis and oh, another Henry. Oh, maybe that's his son. That's funny. I feel like that's pretty common though, that they would be named. His son would be named after him. Um, why is that the only thing I can do? Man, this game is just so... <laughs> Offer to help with errands. Maybe he could help her out a little bit. Um, oh no, I clicked off of it. Um, and then... What can we buy from the garden shop? We'll check that out as well. Um, sure. A friendly visit. We're looking for a package. All right, well, we're going to hop over here and see this lovely lady and see what she has. Um, is there anything here that we would maybe want to plant oh wow we've got mayonnaise mushroom seeds pumpkin seeds could we grow a raspberry um it's getting it's spring it's getting ready to be summer could we maybe get some summer plants I have no idea what to get, guys. I also don't want to um, use all of our money. 
Because right now, really, our biggest problem is that we can't. cook anything because we don't have power. I wonder if she has his package. Let's ask her. Let's see if she has the package. No, no package here. <clears throat> um, do you have the package, Henry? Nope, no package. Um, who do we have over here? The mayor, maybe? Let's go say hi to her. Rich Adams? We're trying to pretend we don't see some of these people <laughs> in their clothing. Um, do you have the package? Do you have the package? No package here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pretend like I don't see that person. <laughs> Who do we have over here? Oh! We found it. Rich had it. Oh, we don't see you, alien person. That's awesome. Deliver to the grocery deliverer. Oh, there she is. Um, we need to give her the package. Deliver. Here you go, ma'am. I found what you were looking for. Alright, we're going to head back home. And then plant some more, plant some more things. Okay, we are back home and we have money now. So that's exciting. Um, Florence is going to go use the restroom. And let's see, do we have power? We still do not have enough power. Um, we need to clean out. Well, he probably would not be cleaning the fridge. Okay, let's check. What can we plant? We can plant a blueberry. We can plant a raspberry. And then um, we can plant a mushroom and a pumpkin. And then she needs to come change a diaper. And then let's see, oh dear, we need to clean Daisy. Um, and then maybe we can try making a mirror. Did that just say we had a surplus of power? Oh no, we used it all up. So I guess I need to figure out how we can get power so that we can make <laughs> some food. Let's see. And what do we have that is using our power? Oh, okay. Something is using power and I don't know what it is. Because I'm pretty sure I got rid of all the lights. Like. Do candles use power? I'm guessing the appliances maybe. Hmm. 
We're going to clean out our spoiled food. If anyone has any suggestions, oh, we could make mayonnaise. Let's do that. And, oh, geez, these babies. Which one's crying now? Are you hungry? Maybe we can... Oh, we got a kitchen upgrade part. We're going to sell that. We also got some Yorkshire pudding, so let's eat that. And then go to the restroom. And he probably just needs to go ahead and take a bath, too. Um, alright guys, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, these babies are driving me crazy. Okay, she's gonna feed that one. We're gonna feed that one. And we will be back shortly. Oh my gosh. These make me crazy. Okay, I made the executive decision to go ahead and age up these babies because they're driving me crazy and tomorrow's their birthday anyway. So she's gonna age up this one and he's going to age up this one. And let's see what Henry and Thomas look like. Henry is silly. We will have to change their clothing to something like a little more, you know, neutral. Thomas is clingy. Oh, wonderful. That's just what we need, a clingy toddler. Um, they're cute, you guys. Look at the blue eyes. Oh, and I love the curly hair. They are so cute, but now we have to get them toddler bits. So, um, I'm going to end this episode here just because they're adorable and, um, I'm so glad that they aged up, but we're going to end it here and then subscribe if you want to see any more of these lovely episodes of the decades challenge. Now that the kids are toddlers, it's going to be real fun and, you know, tomorrow is Easter or they have an Easter coming up. Yes, tomorrow is Easter, so we may do an episode just for Easter, and um, hopefully we can figure out how to get power. If you have suggestions on what I should do for power, we could put up windmills, I guess, but I did get this weather vane that's supposed to be giving us power, but it's, I guess, not. It's a custom content, so I'm not sure what to do, but leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.